1912 standards, RMS Titanic was a beast of a machine. Edwardian technology was quickly leaving the Victorian behind, and ships of this period were in a state of flux, often mixing new technologies with the older practices that crews were familiar with from training in decades past. It's this mix of the old and the new that has led many people who study Titanic's story today to claim that mistakes were made on Titanic's bridge on the night of the disaster, which ultimately led to not only her collision with an iceberg, but to the deaths of over 1,500 of her passengers and crew. This is absolutely not true, and these claims are usually indicative of one thing. Confusion over Titanic's steering. Now, I won't claim to be an expert in this area, so I won't get too technical here. I'll leave that in the capable hands of our mutual friend. However, I will try to explain the basics so that we can fully understand what happened in the moments leading up to the collision on April 14th, and to understand that mistakes weren't made. Titanic's rudder, in simple terms, was kind of like a giant paddle, which could either stay straight or be swung to the left or to the right as needed. In the years leading up to the 20th century, ships relied on a rope-based system using either a tiller or a helm for steering. To operate these relied on what were called tiller commands. These were orders that told the helmsman in which direction the tiller or helm should be moved, with the understanding that the rudder would move in the opposite direction. If the tiller is moved to the left, the rudder swings to the right, and the bow of your ship turns right. If the tiller is moved right, the rudder swings left, and your bow turns left. Think of it sort of like when you're backing your car out of a parking space. If you want the front of your car to be pointing to the right when you're done your turn, you have to turn your steering wheel to the left as you're backing out. Now verbally, a tiller command would be exactly like what William Murdoch ordered in the moments leading up to the collision with the iceberg, his now famous hard to starboard. But wait, this would mean that the helm would need to be turned to the right so the ship could turn left, wouldn't it? So why on earth did Quartermaster Hitchens turn the wheel to the left? Wouldn't that steer Titanic into the iceberg? Did he get confused and make a mistake? This is where the confusion for many people begins, and where the accusations of negligence begin flying. Titanic was also equipped with a machine called a telemotor. It was located behind the helm on both the navigating bridge and in the wheelhouse. To make a long explanation short, the telemotor basically rendered the old tiller-based steering method obsolete. In other words, anyone at Titanic's helm could basically steer her in the same way you or I would drive a car. If you want to go left, you turn the wheel left. However, most, if not all, of Titanic's officers were trained to give tiller commands. This is the system they were most familiar with and the most comfortable using. Titanic's quartermasters would also have been very familiar with the system, but they also would have been well aware that the ship was equipped with a telemotor. So, just like the telemotor translated the turn of the wheel for the rudder, Quartermaster Hitchens translated Murdoch's order for the wheel. He heard hard to starboard and would have easily understood this to mean that Murdoch wanted the ship to steer left. Therefore, he turned the wheel to the left. Then, moments later, the order of hard to port would turn the bow around the ice to the right, kicking Titanic stern out to the left in an attempt to save her propellers from hitting the ice. The only problem with this whole situation is that by the time the iceberg was spotted and the orders were given, there just wasn't enough time for Titanic to respond and move out of the way, resulting in the collision and the tragedy that ensued. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see additional content between videos, you can check me out on Instagram at officialhistory401. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like maybe leave a comment, and consider subscribing to my channel. It's completely free, and it lets me know what kind of content you want to see. Till next time, I wish you all the best.